Hey guys, so I'm sure you've all heard about that police officer Jason Stokely that uh, recently got let go like a slap on the wrist for killing Anthony Lamar Johnson, you know, like cold blooded murder a few years ago. Like there was some dash cam, cam footage that was recently released that was kept anonymous by the police who were actively trying to, you know, keep this covered up uh, that showed him like essentially saying like okay we're gonna go kill this motherfucker you know like they pulled him over for a drug bust all over f some drugs that you know he isn't hurting anybody but himself over it and i don't even know if there was even any in the car but he eventually ran and they chased them or whatever and he's like oh we're gonna kill this motherfucker like they they slam into a tree because they're driving erratically right his partner goes crazy slams into a tree you know like driving down like areas where there's people you know walking around but cops do this all the time you know one of the main causes that cops die from is single car crashes right so they're speeding and they kill themselves right so this pissed him off even more he went rammed into anthony lamar johnson or anthony lamar smith and then like proceeded to go and then shoot him and then planted a gun on them like this this was all caught on on tape right like him saying he wants to go kill the guy everything that happened in between like clearly this guy is unhinged right he uses his fucking ak-47 or whatever or ar-15 i forget what it was but his gun his own gun that he wasn't even supposed to use either right so it's fucking insanity that they let this guy off right and like this is going to always happen, right? There is very little you can do to reform the police the way it is now, right? The only way to actually, in my opinion, to prevent this, and a lot, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me, and <laughs> but it's to privatize the police force. It's to add competition. It's to create multiple police forces that are all competing with each other and we don't pay them we only pay them when they're pretty much keeping us safe right and when something bad happens then they pay us right like they're getting paid the longer we stay safe because currently right now they're getting paid for uh you know crime the more crime there is the better it is for them right so they're getting paid for uh you know they 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 want to instigate crime they want to keep crime going on they want to make things illegal like drugs and all these other things so they can keep their jobs right there's people going away like this guy died over a drug bust right all of this could have been avoided if we just legalized drugs completely all drugs not just weed i know people are like oh you can't legalize this this and that but if you do all of the rates of uses will go down it will be you know safer <laughs> like there you won't be giving money to the underground cartels and you know criminals you don't you won't be having kids going to like uh people like you know when when a kid goes to buy weed they're doing it illegally right and then the person they're getting it from is going to sell other shit that's going to introduce them to other things so at least if you were to like you know legalize these things then stores could sell them they could have age restrictions whatever right so <laughs> like obviously the cops the way they are now are they're always going to be like this they're always going to cover for each other they're all they're not, they're you know like as as long as there's no competition as long as they have a monopoly on force there's nothing that's ever going to change and people can go protest all they want you know and but it's not going to do a lick of difference and stuff like this just legitimizes all the people who are yelling white supremacy white supremacy because cops do this to white people too but you know the media is just going to use these circumstances when it's happening to black people and they're going to push this to push more racial division among people so like the longer you know i see a lot of people on the right they're like you know cops we need this and we need cops and praise the cops blah 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 but you know this is they have a boys club they fucking get off with everything they get off with murder all the time and this is both this needs to needs to end right so a lot of the people protesting 
like the Black Lives Matter people about the police in Detroit and Baltimore, like they have a point. They have a point. Those police are corrupt as shit, right? <laughs> and they plant drugs and they do make those communities worse. There are some good ones there, but there's a lot of fucking horrible ones and we cannot deny that. And one of the reasons why police are so bad a lot of the times is because of the system that we have created right now. It it brings these types of people to the police force, you know? It's of, of course like crazy people are going to come there. Like, look what happens to police all the time. They get let off with slap on a wrist. Why wouldn't a fucking murderer, why wouldn't crazy people be coming in, in in droves? Because they know they can get away with shit now. So you're you're incentivizing crazy people to come in. Whereas if it's more of a private uh, system where there's competition, they're going to have other people they have to compete with. So if they're actually, if there's another force that's keeping you safe and then your police force isn't what are you gonna do you're gonna fire that one you're gonna hire the ones keeping you safe and what is that gonna do that's gonna force the other competitors to do a better job right because whenever you have monopolies you know governments are supposed to break up monopolies but they don't they create monopolies typically and they keep they sustain monopolies and the police force is an example of one of the monopolies that they do have and one of the things that that should really change and a lot of people you know, they, like I said before, they can protest as much as they want, but it's never going to change anything. And like I said before, it just legitimizes that white supremacy shit. You know, <laughs> it doesn't, like, you, it's going to continue. You're going to keep hearing these people say that Trump is a white supremacist, that this and all this stuff, as long as, you know, we do have the system the way it is now. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's going to change once we actually go to a smaller government system and we'll actually see improvements but that's my opinion on the subject if you like my content content subscribe and have a great day